My peoples, my peoples, Papa Ziti here. I've got a little team death match here on the map launch for you. And I left the controls up for theater mode just to give you an idea of what it is I'm going to be talking about this video. And the topic is knowing when to switch out your class or knowing when to change up your tactics, knowing when to do something different. Whenever what it is that you're trying to do, whatever class you have just isn't working. And knowing when to, to switch that out and switch up your play style a little bit accordingly. So on this map, I'm starting off with my Russian class, which I absolutely love now. It's the Spectre Silenced, Lightweight Pro, Marathon Pro, Steady Aim Pro. I've got the dual pistols, stickies, concussions, um, you know, all that good stuff that I just absolutely love running around with. And I'm playing with a team. I think uh, I've got, you know, one guy in here that I typically run with. And he's playing with a split screener. I don't know if it was his wife, friend, or somebody, but they really weren't holding their own. And the rest of the team wasn't holding their own either. So I like to think of myself as a pretty decent player. And there just comes times when you're going to have to shoulder a lot of the load if your team has any chance of winning. So... What we've got here, these guys are you know, just all over me. There's not a whole lot I can do. I get a nice impact kill there. But right now I'm about even. I'm maybe, you know, plus one as far as kill death goes. But definitely not having a good game. And I'm running around with this Spectre. And my rushing class just isn't working out. But I, I haven't given it up yet. I'm still hoping that I can maybe turn things around for myself and my team. And what it takes for me to switch out as I hear a helicopter. So now I've switched to my anti-air class. And by the way, if you don't have an anti-air class set up, just pause this video right now, load Black Ops, and go ahead and make an anti-air class. Um, Ghost Pro, obviously, is, is, is a must. And you need to have some sort of uh, launcher to take down air support. And in this case, I use the, uh, the Strela. But I've got Ghost Pro, Sleight of Hand Pro, and Hacker Pro. And what I've done now, oh, it's with the Galil with uh, dual mags and obviously the Strela. And when I switched, I was 8-8. Eight and eight. After I switch, I go 16-0. and 0. And it's a huge help. I've, oh, I'm also rocking decoys over here. Um, you know, people don't fall for decoys as, uh, as easily as they used to when the game first came out. Oh, don't run in there! But they are still effective, and they will buy you that critical second, half a second that you need to take down an enemy. It turns out with this game that I switched up a little late and wasn't able to pull it out on my own. But I gave it a good, uh, good effort here. And this is campy. And, you know, sometimes when it calls for it, it's a good tactic. And I'm just going to work this side of the map for a while. I got lucky right there. That guy probably should have had me. But they know I'm over here. I don't have a, a silencer on my Galil. So it's a little counterintuitive because I've got Ghost on. But, you know, I'm just going to... This is my class. This is how I have it set up. I like the Galil. I like the dual mags on it. It's a real fast reload. <laughs> a nice dolphin dive into your death. But uh, I'm not taking down air support right now because right now I'm just trying to concentrate on getting some kills and getting my air support up. Here we go. Got my Blackbird. And I'm just kind of hoping at this point, come on team, I got a Blackbird up for you. Let's use this. I mean, we're down, what, 35 to 63 right now, so time is definitely running out. But I go on a tear right here, and I think I get us, get us back to within 10, 11 kills uh, by the end of it. But again, too little, too late. <clears throat> and we end up losing this. Spoiler alert, I know. But it just uh, I wanted to put this up anyway just to show you guys how, if you play smart and, you know, it's, it's almost a little, you know, you have to be unselfish. Um, this is not my favorite class to play, uh, especially after starting with my Russian class. I feel like uh, I picked this FAMAS up. Now, if you pick up a FAMAS or any gun 
that has a noob tube on it, then by all means, by all means, tube away. Because I think that's, that's completely justified in that instance. But I switched up too late, and we end up losing this match. But uh, I think I end up going 24 and 8 at the end. I'm, uh, you know, the highest kills by about nine or ten kills. That right there, I heard that guy reload his uh, his crossbow there, so I knew where he was. That was my last kill. That uh, that guy up there, towards the middle of the map. This game is over, guys. Just know when to switch up your class if it's not working for your team. That is my lesson of the day. I want to say thanks for watching. Yeah, I end up going 24 and 8. Guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. This is Papa Ziti saying peace.